It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. <laughs> it's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up, world? What is good with y'all? Back with pretty much it's the most legendary video I'm ever going to do on my channel. I might as well retire after this because this is this is my dream. This is a childhood dream. This is my life dream. This is my death row meal. Now I know it's extra extravagant crazy but i had to get everything that i thought i would want on death row so this is a collab with sauce queen shout out sauce queen that's my girl and uh she took a different approach she was very like homemade like a composed well thought out surf and turf type meal i took a way different road here i got all like the bs foods from like actual establishments like different places and just compiled like a smorgasbord. So this was quite the mission for me to run around and get. Life is crazy here right now. It is crazy weather and things like that. It's been a while. I've been smelling this in the car. I just want to start eating, okay? Before we do anything more, we must pour. And today, ladies and gents, we are breaching, but we're going full sugar Dr. Pepper. Because when you're on death row, you go full sugar because your body needs the sugar to nourish the land. That's if you believe in getting buried. If you're getting burned, then I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm way too excited for this right now. Way too excited for this right now. So it's a whole new world <laughs> when you're drinking full of sugar. <laughs> Wow. I don't even have a weird, funny thing to say about that just because I'm living my dream right now. I, I legitimately am living a dream. So in the thumbnail, I know you guys saw some bags of chips. Those are off to the left of me just because I can't really fit them in the frame. But we'll crack into a few for sure. Okay. Should we explain what we have? We got buffalo wings. These are from a local joint called Chicago Joe's. I did not want to make mine or have the time. They, in my opinion, have some of the most banging wings I've ever had. And I did not have the time to really be making mine. It just, it wouldn't work with like trying to pick everything up and making wings. It's just, I couldn't make it work. So I had to buy some, but these are so good. This is a restaurant in a hotel. That uh, me and the boys used to hit when we were 19. We used to crush wing nights. Me and the guys would go crush wing nights. Life doesn't really get any better than that. They hooked me up with this hotel ranch. We're not in the hidden valley in the shadow of the death. I'm into the hotel ranch. I'm into the hotel wings. So good. My only light critique would be only carrots, no celery. Bit of a bummer. But oh well. So of course, deep in the back, it's a Coney dog. Y'all have seen me eat these from my favorite local jam. You guys, I've never had all of these foods in front of me at one time.
I don't think you know how special this feels. This feels like my wedding day. Or what I would imagine a wedding day to supposedly feel like. Because I have not been down that road. But I assume... It feels something like this. Okay, so here we have the gorgeous poutine from Burger King. Burger King carry is one of my favorite poutines. I love their cheese curds. I love their gravy. And I hit it with ketchup. And it is so, so good. Hands down the wildest meal ever. Back here, hiding behind the king of burgers, we have a curveball. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. For now, we go uh, to, my, to my retirement community, to my home, to where I live. And that is in the middle, the center of a sloppy wop. This is an experience. I will never forget. I have never had the ultimate pleasure of simultaneously eating all my favorite foods at once. It is wild. All right, so this is a curveball. Something you may or may not know about me, something you may or may not know about me is I actually love tuna sandwiches and that's what exactly what this is. Tuna sandwich. Now, my favorite tuna sandwich isn't actually from Subway. It just worked for this scenario. But I do love a subway tuna sandwich. The thing is, I can make the best tuna sandwich for myself at home. So that's the only caveat here. I know it's a strange choice, but I had to throw it in to tell you guys that I legit deprive myself of eating tuna sandwiches because of how unpopular they are on the internet.
lots of people are tuna sandwich haters. I can't help it. I love the taste of them. And that's weird because I don't even really, I don't like, like seafood. It's like the only thing that I'll eat. And that is like, I feel like that's so far from seafood in a way. All right, we must replenish and re sugify and introduce you to a couple of my friends playing the wall. First, salt and vinegar chips. It has to be a Lay's salt and vinegar as well. Just gonna grab a couple here. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite salt and vinegar chip on the planet. It's just that thin, light, cloudy snap. Can't be beat. I love the flavor. I love the texture. The only thing about salt and vinegar chips is just they're dangerous. They're like little ninjas with ninja stars in your mouth. And they will chuck daggers at your palate and leave you in agony. So eat responsibly when it comes to salt and vinegar chips. Now, Conversely, this is another favorite chip of mine, all dressed. I know some places in America now have it, but it's pretty much a Canadian chip by its by nature. It is a totally different textural experience. But if you're getting an all dressed chip in Canada, this is the one you get. <clears throat> it's Ruffles Ridged. It's thicker, but it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Maybe with a little ranch, we'll see. Something I wouldn't usually do, but it works. All dressed is a very hard flavor to explain, but imagine like vinegary, smoky, a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. It's a chip for the ages. So because this is a death row meal, every time I think about death row, I always think about the movie Green Mile, which is a great movie. I love that movie. Michael Clark Duncan killed his role. We all know Tom Hanks is just a G at this point. Absolute master of his craft. Killed his role, obviously. Just a great movie. And I always think of when he has his last meal and he's like such a sweet man. And he like shares his cornbread. And uh, even like I think Mr. Jingles the most he gets a piece 
I think I can't remember quite for sure, but I think so. Yeah. So that's just a memory that always goes with when I think of death row meal. We must get another bite of this Whopper. It's looking very saucy and nice. I cannot lie, I am getting full. I do want a little more of this hot dog though, because it was tasting also way too good. This is like a once in a lifetime, you know what I mean? I don't really ever see myself <laughs> doing this again in my life. But I'm glad I did do it once. I can scratch off my food bucket list. I can rest easy now knowing that I fulfilled my ultimate gluttonous dream all in one sitting so we applaud this accomplishment and we have a bellyache it's pretty cool because uh sauce queen used b loves sauce for like the first time in her video and and then b love like reposted her video on her community tab so that's pretty cool that to have that post out in front of all those people so maybe i'll get a light little little boost off that but that's it ladies and gents that's the whole kit and caboodle whopper wings poutine coney dogs a tuna sandwich full sugar dr pepper all dressed and salt and vinegar chips at this point, if I go any further, I'm going to have a rough time, and I'm not really looking to have a rough time. I just want to be just satisfied with my my last meal. So we cheers to favorite foods. And we say Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.